and welcome back to a humble highland home i'm enjoying this beautiful weather at the moment i'm sitting on the log that crosses the burn in the kitchen garden so i've just finished making the rose bay willow herb syrup and while that cools i thought i would get on with the next process of making ivan chai now I will leave a link below for the two videos that I've made before about the Rose Bay Willow Herb which should help you to identify it because that's always the first place to start when you're foraging for anything in nature is to make sure that you're absolutely clear what you're picking and how much you're harvesting. So Ivan Chai is a fermented tea made from the leaves of the rose bay willow herb and in russia it's known as the warrior tea so in one of my previous videos five ways that you can use rose bay willow herb you will have seen that i collected lots of the leaves off the stem now that was yesterday and I've left these overnight to wilt. So you can see that they've started to wilt down. They're a lot more pliable than what they were. So the next stage of the process is to work the leaves in between my fingers so it releases all the goodness and all the oils ready for the next stage. So the way that I do that is I'm just going to turn it over and just massage it in between my finger and thumbs. And then I'm just going to pop it into the jar for the next stage of the fermentation process. So this is just bruising the leaves enough for them to re release the moisture that they've got inside them. So anything that I forage, I always write down my notes in my little companion here, which keeps me right and I can plan for next year when I know uh, what's coming into season and when to harvest it and what to do with it. So it's a good idea to have a little notebook to keep a tally of what you've been foraging, where and when, so that if you're ever in a position that you don't have access to your normal routes of research, then you've got something in your book that you can refer back to. Now, when I was doing my research, I looked up the medicinal um, properties because it's something that I'm always interested in. I prefer to go to Mother Nature first before uh, seeking any other medicines. So I'd found that some of the medicinal properties were quite surprising. That apparently it's got more vitamin C than rose hips have which I'm really quite surprised because I'm a big fan of rose hips and you've probably seen that if you've followed some of my other videos but um, it's also very very good for insomnia or headaches and migraines for asthma or high blood pressure it's uh, good for infl inflammation or blood circulation issues so it really is a very useful plant but as always if you're taking this for medicinal purposes please check out with your GP first That's my jar almost full, so I'll leave that amount of space 
just to allow it to ferment. It should start getting warm quite quickly. And I'll leave that for a couple of days in the house. And I'm looking for the, the smell to change. I'm looking for some heat and the color should change as well. So I'll check, check that every day. Now we're five days later and I've had two of these jars fermenting over this period of time. And now it's time that I started dehydrating these. Now I'm using my tabletop dehydrator, but you can just use a oven on a low heat or even in the sunshine to, to start to dry out the Ivan Chai leaves. So I've already started this process. This is my next batch that's currently drying. They're not quite ready yet. They're still quite, still quite bendy, but they should just go nice and crisp so that you can just rake them up and store them in your jar for when you need them. So I'll just pop these back just now. So this is the finished product, Ivan Chai Tea, made from the leaves of the Rose Bay Willow Herb, otherwise known as fireweed. <laughs>